Alright guys, welcome back to another M Critter lore video. So today I'm doing a little bit of a different change of the structure of how I usually record things. I'm wondering if this will actually be better, so let me know in the description if this is a better format and we might be able to do that more often. Alright, so the first thing that I want to do is actually get um, a geode built into uh, the one of the biomes if not all of the biomes so we're going to be working with features for that um, we need to go ahead and create a feature so I'm going to do that quickly I'm going to go to the features tab and I'm just going to start with the base folder I can always stick it under another folder for that but uh, we're going to go and create a feature and let's go ahead and create uh, we'll call this um, what was the thing that I was going to call it? Let me just quickly go on GitHub and take a look. So we're going to use something called Rose Quartz. It's an actual uh, material. It's kind of like a pinky cutter. And what we'll probably end up using it for is a tool set similar to diamonds or something like that, even though it's a little bit softer. But uh, what we can use it for is like different uh, tools or different um, you know features later on in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it Rose Quartz and then what we're going to do is we're going to call it geode and i think that's with an e at the end uh let's see here yeah it should be with a g and then we're going to go ahead and set up the properties for that so i can actually take a look at the base game settings and see how the geodes are created and then i can go into the generation um generated code and take a look at how certain blocks are structured so i'm going to do that really quickly and pop that up in notepad and then i can start building out the procedure so let me do that quick all right so in the uh data minecraft world gen and then configured features we see that there's an amethyst geode one and this is actually a pretty big uh, procedure for going over so i'm gonna have to kind of take a look at how things are set up and see what is not really relevant for actually in implementing and then try to build it off from there so like for example the parts here with those might not be really required at the moment so i'm just going to put that over onto my other window here and then we can start working with that so Let's see here, we need a geode, so there should be a feature for that already. Um, we're gonna just minimize the code thing for now, and then we're gonna see if we can't find uh, the geode feature. So there should be one under maybe miscellaneous. And let's see here. Yeah, there is a geode thing right here. So we have a whole bunch of different blocks that we can assign here. And hopefully this actually generates most of the code doesn't actually have anything set up at the moment but we haven't selected anything either so I'm just going to just place some blocks in here and we'll see if that actually does anything and hopefully it'll generate something for us so at the moment we're just going to go ahead and leave it like this and then we'll play around with it a little bit later and um, I need to create textures and stuff for it all so uh, once we get this last block in, we'll see if that generate something yes it does okay so that um, gives us quite a bit of the materials that covers most of the top part which let's see here falling for falling provider or filling provider blocks okay so there is just a little bit of stuff that we're actually missing by the looks of it okay that part's taken care of so it's mostly just the bottom part where we have the additional um, offsets and stuff like that. So it shouldn't take too much time to actually put that together. I'm going to have to play around with the blocks and figure out what combination is which. But uh, we got pretty much all this part taken care of uh, up to the top part where it says configure. So just by adding that one block, the other part uh, we have is this part right down here. So I have to play around with the settings and make sure that everything is built accordingly but um i'll probably provide a template for you guys in the on the uh github for my example projects so you guys can easily do that now i am going to check to see if there is possibly a geode there is you know what there i don't even need to provide one there's actually a geode 
layout already for you guys. So if you just go under the feature template, we can just grab the properties for the geode and I bet you this is going to work. So we'll go ahead and delete this. Yeah, and then we'll put that back up here. And then we'll drag that to there and we'll just check the code and see if everything works. Um, it doesn't look like it's the exact same code as the base game. But uh, is that the, yeah, that's the geode part. Invalid placement. Well, we can give it a shot and see how, what it turns out. This is the example code, so we'll see if we can make that uh, work for the base game. Um, but it does seem like it does generate. Maybe there's another part of the geode. Okay, that's where all the other parts of it is configured and it doesn't look like it checks out for the settings 83 is in there so all this seems to be correct so looks correct uh let's go ahead and uh create some of the blocks for this and i'll need to do that in the textures so i'll probably do a time lapse for that part So I got the textures now, I just need to make the blocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our resources and import the blocks themselves. So we can go ahead and grab the textures from our desktop and we're going to go ahead and select the budded as well as the crystals. I still don't know what I'm going to be doing for the, um, what do you call it, the uh, actual uh layers for the different things will probably uh actually integrate uh, marble and basalt maybe um that might work uh for the part and then filling we'll just use whatever that is i think it's uh just regular error for that so we can do that maybe and let's go ahead and grab go to the blocks tab we'll go to the 
terrain and then we can add our rose quartz blocks here so we'll go ahead and create a new folder and we'll go ahead and call it rose quartz and then we can go ahead and add our blocks so we'll start with the regular block first rose quartz uh, block and then we can go ahead and select our texture for this uh, this is the better one that I came out with I tried it a few times to actually create something similar to Minecraft <laughs> it's, I'm just not that experienced with this kind of texturing so it's not exactly I might go back and try to get it all set up and stuff like that but uh, some things have changed with the way that Minecraft's gone ahead and added, I don't know, what do you want to call it, like vanilla tool. Uh, so we're going to have to like figure out a way to actually go ahead and make that actually work with our own tools and stuff like that. Um, not sure just yet how to go about doing that. We might need to add additional conditions to actually test for um, what tool type we're using and stuff like that. Lately, Mojang's just doing a really poor job at um, making sure that things are cross-compatible for existing mods and stuff like that. Like, things that are have been stable for years, they're just changing and messing up the whole entire community. And it's just one of the things that I am so burnt out from is just like, can you guys just stop? <laughs> like, seriously? Anyhow, I need to look up the um, recipe. Well, not so much recipe, but the um, hardness and resistance for it. So I'm just going to go to Amethyst. And we're going to go to the uh, block, maybe. Yeah, we'll go to the block, and then we'll see what the hardness and resistance. So it's 1.5 and 1.5. So we can go ahead and set our hardness and resistance for that here. I'm not sure why it's doing that. All right, and creative tab, we're gonna stick that under the blocks tab here. Um, we can also add multiple inventories now in the latest version. For sound, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is probably the Amethyst block, just to make it consistent uh, tool. Uh, we'll set it to pickaxe. Uh, again, we'll probably want to um, add our own support for um, the tools and stuff. Uh, for the tool to break, if we go back to wiki, we can see that it takes a wooden pickaxe or higher. So setting it to none might work. I'm not sure. We'll see. It does require a pickaxe, so that might work for that. Uh, additional harvesting condition we don't really need at the moment. We might even be able to run our script from the additional harvesting condition um, for our custom tools and stuff like that, but I'll have to look into that and maybe fix some stuff before September 1st, which is the next release for the um, mod. So as far as everything else, uh, I don't think we need really anything. I don't know if this block is luminescent. Uh, partly blocks light transparency, but it's not luminescent, so no. Um, advanced properties. Uh, we will need a tick update for this. We'll probably actually set it to a random tick update so we can grow randomly. And we're going to need. Oh, actually, no, we don't need that for this one. Uh, we need it for the budding version. So we're go we'll set the map color as uh, pink because that's kind of what color rose quartz is. A reaction to being pushed. Um, I'm not sure if we can actually push this block or not. Uh, natural generation. I would have to look up where it is, but for now what we'll do is we'll just allow it. And if it can't be pushed, then what I'll do is I'll um, go ahead and uh, tweak that later on and make a bug fix. Uh, we do want it to be blocked for entity pathfinding though. And, and enable MBT, we should be fine without it. Uh, don't need forge energy or any of these other conditions. So we can just save that and that'll be our first block here. And then we can add our non-budding layer here so we'll go ahead and select our 
amethyst block and we can go ahead and select the budding one which we need next so we're going to use the same properties for this one rows quartz budding and we'll, we're just going to change a few things with this like the texture we want the texture to have the kind of the cracks in it and that will indicate that it's a budding block now i probably will go ahead and improve the texture in the near future uh, to spice things up i need to look how they were able to do it for the other one for like the base amethyst and then i'm going to probably create my own texture for that based on that because it doesn't look that good i'm not going to lie so um, I'm going to have to go back and do that. But for now, it, for the video, it should be fine. So for all this, I'm just going to leave it the same. And I'm going to set this to random. And we're going to need um, tile entity for this. Maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, we might need a delay for it. I'm not sure if we're going to. So I'm going to enable MBT for this for now. Just in case we do need it. And if not... Um, why can't oh there we go i'm not sure why i can't select the uh the numbers here this is weird it might be a bug usually you would be able to select it and then delete it but i don't know all right so we're going to need an update tick for this one and we're going to select that and we're actually going to when we create our blocks we're going to create a um block state using nerdy's block state plugin and we're going to go ahead and actually run the crystals for that. Uh, that will be a little bit easier than going about doing it um, through each individual block. And it's more what Minecraft does anyways So um, for the buds and stuff. So what we're going to do is we still need to place the block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably test the direction of where there is air. And we're going to need to replace that block there. So we'll go ahead and grab a condition here. And then we're going to want to test if there is error in that position. So we'll go ahead and grab this block and we'll select air for it. And then we need a block here. And then we'll go ahead and do this for each condition for the, each side. And we don't have the blocks yet just created. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just allow this to um, be off the procedure and for now we'll just leave it as it is for the thing but we need to adjust the position for all of these so we're going to start with probably north and then we'll work our way down to up and down so um, or we could do up and down first I guess so we'll do like maybe up and set this to y plus one test if there's error and then we want to also change the position for this as well to the position where we want to and then when we get our block then I'm going to have to rotate it and set the rotation and everything based on that so we'll do that in just a little bit but um, I need to go ahead and create this part
right, so we just need to basically select a biome where it's going to generate in. I already have a tag for that. So what we can do is we can go and just um, create one that will generate in the Eldemore. So mod Eldemore, and we're going to select that one. And basically what that will do is it will generate in across the entire dimension. So that's all we really need to do. What we're gonna do is actually set this to underground structures. I think that's probably where it needs to go for the generation. It doesn't actually say what we need for it. So we're gonna set it to underground structures and uh, I think that will be pretty much all we need to do. So we can go ahead and save this and that should be all set up now. Um, again, if we go back to our features, and go to the thing we should have it set up so it should be right here we're going to actually create a folder for that we're going to call it rose courts and geode g o d e no. hard named for me to pronounce so okay so we'll put that in there and then we can give this a shot we'll test the uh, world so there was just a little bit of um, changes that I ended up doing over the evening and if we go underground we'll be able to see those changes in hopefully one of these geos that we created so there's one over there so let's go over that direction so there's one right here so uh, you can see that I fixed the rotation issue. That was uh, actually due to the model of the block bench. Um, well, not block bench, but like the cross model. It was set a certain way. It was rotating the right direction, but uh, the texturing for the model itself was not correct. Uh, some other things that you might notice is if we go into creative here, we can light this up a little bit. Um, where is the torches? There we go. So we'll place some of these down. And I've updated the textures as well. So it uh, it's a lot better than it was before. I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, one last thing that I did uh, was I added... I've been working off camera for some time, adding some extra additional features. And I've created um, basically a water, the a cup system, so we can actually drink from cup now, and it will give us uh, saturation for water. It will refill our water bar, and it will also um, I can't remember what the other thing was for, but it, it basically resets all the um, things for the water. So if we were to go out and get some water, just go up to the surface here to this uh, island so if we were to right click on it with water I'm still working on the uh, mechanics for this but if we right click on it uh, then it will kind of give us a cut back it drops it at the moment I'm still working on that particular mechanic so we can refill our cups so that's good and that's basically it I've been working on a temperature temperature system um and slowly integrating rice crops as well off camera so all right so you probably guys want to see what the um block bench model looks like so basically the north direction uh is where the top of the crystal is and i've basically just used the cross model from minecraft rotated it so it faces this direction and then that seemed to fix the issue all the changes that i did do was just mainly to the model and textures um, other than that, everything else is the same. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.